You are about to enter the Chrome Dome. All right, Chrome Domers, it's back to Gloomhaven today. Very exciting. And we are, I think we're going to finish off Ancient Cistern. Man, we have a lot of things to do. Uh, so we have Ruinous Rift, which we want to try. And we have Ancient Cistern, which we want to close out. Plane of Night is, leads us into the next area of the campaign. And we have a side quest in Hero Rift, a, si a, a Shrine of the Depths, which is just closing that out, and a side quest that we're not going to do in Windswept Pilots. So I think what we're going to do today is close out Ancient Cistern. But I do have a dilemma that I am looking for your advice in. So please leave your, your, your opinion in the comments. We can, at any time basically retire mini me and when we do we will also retire ghost so ghost would get us music note and mini me would get us three spears so would you rather us continue and get all three of these guys to level nine and then retire them and probably retire all three at the same time and come in with a whole new party which would be three spears music note and uh, circles or would you rather me go ahead and retire mini me and ghost because this party is a little OP and come back with uh, three spears and music note now so let me know in the comments if you want to see level nines of all three of these guys or if you want me to go ahead and move on to the next set of characters and you did not level up but you Mini Me has leveled up here, so let's go ahead and level her up. I think it's a her. It looks like a her. All right, so we have a bottom attack four. That's pretty freaking good. And we have another support card, which is such a good support card. I mean, look at that. Attack three, raise three, stun, generate earth. That's really good. Really good. And you can control all of your guys, but, you know, still. Um, we still want to get Primal Blessing, but Storm Sigil is so much better. So we're going to go ahead and get Storm Sigil because we can't pass it up. And we are going to drop out our probably disappearing wounds at this point. All right. And we get a new card, which will be... We could do Rolling Earth. Immobilize and Wound are somewhat interesting. Or plus zero with plus twos. But I think getting less plus, le more pluses into the deck... And losing the zeros is good. All right, shopping wise, let's take a look at your cards. So we don't attack with the top of Cloak of Shade. We can't modify that one. We can't modify that one. We can modify Prepare for the Kill. So the tempting thing in here is oh, don't take it out of the deck. Let's go to the Enchantress here. Uh, the tempting thing with pre pre Prepare for the Kill is if we go here. We could add any, any element for 250 or specific element for 200. That would allow us to do a move and set up a kill for the next turn. Or we could add uh, elements on the top here for 175 or 125. But I think what we want to do is the 200 here. Um, other options is uh, Terra Blade, we could increase the push, whatever. Like, that's not really great. Uh, Black Arrow is actually a really good card, but all we could do is increase the range. Also, not really that exciting. And now we're getting into level 6s and level 7s. So the other option is we can pop it here on Cloak of Shade, which is probably a better investment for us to just pop an any element on Cloak of Shade. And when we need to use it, we can use something else on the bottom, Cloak of Shade on the top, and get an any element. So that's probably where we should go, because I mean, 200's a lot. And we could do an any element for 150. The reason I would choose any element is because there are certain scenarios where the enemy gets penalties for having certain elements available to us, um, or to them. So having an element is just so much more flexible for what we need to do, and it could also be used to generate, you know, sun for the sun keeper or whatever. Um, so it's an option. All right, so we're going to save here. Over here, we probably, we need to buy another potion of some kind. It's going to be, I think it's going to, yeah, it's going to be a major stamina potion for sure. Let's go to the merchant here. 
shopping, small items. Um, we do have the Helix Ring, which is actually really, really good for him specifically. Um, but you have to consume light and dark, and it's just, it's too, it, it's about the only time I'd ever consider it would be with a party with the Sun Keeper and the Night Shroud, but instead I'm going to go Major Stamina. Okay. And for the hand items, I don't think I have enough money for any of the hand items. Uh, Tower Shield is a single target hand item, which I would certainly buy uh, that and a Heater Shield. Oh, Heater Shield I can buy now. So I'm going to put a Heater Shield and a uh, Tower Shield on him. Or do I want to put like a Jagged Sword? But I think probably just, I think we just need to make sure he stays alive as much as possible. So let's put that down. And you've spent all your money over here. Um, there are no body items at this point. Robes of Evocation, all, all of these things affect him personally. So that doesn't help. We've got minor and major stamina potions. Minors, let's uh, go over here and maybe buy, power potions won't work, but a, and we don't have major mana potions yet. We could Moon Earring, which would only bring back uh, tapped items, not uh, consumed items. Ring of Haste was one we were looking at. That one is actually really good. Let's do that. All right, Ring of Haste is in play now, and we are saving your money for a enhancement for that. All right, so on to the Ancient Cistern. Let's finish this bad boy off, get it off of our list. And then tomorrow's episode will be Ruinous Rift, and then we will decide after that whether we're going to retire these guys or not. So you have 24-ish hours or so to get your votes in on whether we're going to retire or not. Hands paddling in front of your face. All right. Only long rest is probably very easy. Oh, I didn't look at the other thing. Very easy for us. Five cards is probably hard. So let's go long resting. Uh, mini me three or fewer. This is probably where we're going to end up. And over here for ghost, kill a monster, or reveal a room tile. Room tile it is. All right. Everybody is set. Oh, wait. You don't have a battle goal. All right. Now we're good. All right. Let's go. Let's get this baby done. No whammies. No whammies. All right. This is not the easiest starting room, by the way. We don't really have a lot of AoEs or real controls. So let's put you over here for now. Uh, let's put you here. Put you here. And... Put you in the middle. Okay. I guess it's going to be a shield to retaliate to type of thing, right? Hmm. I guess so. So why don't we put you here? put the bear back here and we'll let him go first so he'll draw these guys in and take whatever they give him um, and the shield four should be basically take very little damage um, you need to be invisible and in order to be invisible we have to do that I guess wow we got rid of that other that attack one invisible card huh Maybe we should put that card back in and get rid of, like, maybe Cloak of Shade here. Okay. Uh, so we're going to go uh, attack two and go invisible. Oh, sorry, move two and go invisible. And over here, you're going to bring him out late. We're going to bring him out early, but we'll move him late on 53 for Concentrated Rage. And probably in to 
I guess command forceful strike. Yeah. All right. Oh, he has to come on this side. Well, that sucks. They are going to get hit by that guy. They're not going to do anything at all. Those guys are, though. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to step right here. These guys have range 3, 1, 2, 3, so at least they're not going to be able to hit anybody except for him. And he will be well armored and set up. Alright, so let's go ahead and do the wand. That'll set us up for next round. Alright, shield up. Shield up. Alright. So everybody's going to congregate around him. And then we're going to kill this guy next turn and figure out what to do with those guys at some point. Oh, look, I'm muddled and immobilized. Yay, team. Very nice, very nice. And we'll pop that down and go ahead and do that. All right, pretty good rolls, pretty good rolls. It's unfortunate that I'm attacking that guy, but whatever. Uh, all right. So what do we do now? Uh, I believe what we do is, do we hammer blow these guys? Probably. There's the card that lets us attack six, there it is. So that means you're going to have to go semi-late, I think, maybe? I don't know. So you're going to attack for five, probably kill this guy. I think you're going to run around to the back and kill these guys is what's going to happen. Other option is we could go invisible, attack three, and then unseat dread these guys. All right, why don't we do this? Go late and kill this guy and then we don't have another way to move and generate darkness, which is a bit of an issue, but we'll figure that out. Uh Do that. Actually, let's do this. Okay, over here, we want to go after the 55, which means... So we'll go Borrowed Essence to give up as the card, and then... Do Rampage. That'll let us get into position and hit whatever we need to. All right. A lot of not damage there, which is very nice. And a little bit of actual damage. Alright. So, we are going to do that. On to this guy. Alright. Then we're going to let you go again and kill that guy, hopefully. Success. And we'll give up the plus three attack on the top. And you walk up and hit that one. Followed by a... Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to move you right to here. Hit this guy again. Maybe you can kill him? You cannot. All right. Save our wands and stuff. All right. So with all of that done, you're going to just have to move right here and kill this guy. And eat 
that to generate that. Let you do it again next turn. Over here. Uh, I think a stun is probably the right call. Stun this guy. I think we can kill the other two quick enough. Uh, let's go disoriented into a attack four. No. Target two. And over here, move up as quickly as possible. And oh crap. Messed that up. Do we black arrow something? I guess we do that, yeah. Made a little bit of a mistake there. Alright, I'm gonna black arrow this guy. And we'll go over here and get this gold. Because we do not want to be next to that guy. Alright. And we will get extra attack. Alright, that one's dead. Can you kill the other one? Maybe. Nope. Do we go ahead and burn the Ring of Haste to get rid of this guy? He's gonna poison and attack for range 2. It's probably fine. Alright, so I could... What is this guy doing? Attack 2, range 4. Uh, move to attack 4. Let's do that. Let's uh, go over here and shut this guy down. Generated some sun and killed him. Alright. Um... Darkness is is going to matter, so let's go ahead and eat the darkness to generate darkness. And it will be set up for next turn for him to kill this guy, just in case it doesn't go any other way. Yeah, that's fine. He took a little bit of damage. Alright, uh... Doesn't matter. Let's get the heals going here. Are you down any hit points at all, buddy? No. I'm going to go over here and get this gold then. And we'll use Blood Hunger. And we'll go fast and kill him with that. Alright, yep. Alright. He's dead. And we're going to jump over towards the door. We're going to leave this gold behind for the for a mini-me to pick up. Uh, not going to do anything. You're not moving. I am going to move to here. And we are not going to use that. And let's get the heal up, uh, I guess, right here, really. Head to the door, and it's a long rest turn now. get all of our equipment back that we used. Alright, what are we losing here? Probably not Borrowed Essence. Uh, we can lose Punch Through. Is fine. Alright. And here... We can lose... We didn't play Innervating Wound, that was what I was going to lose. We are really short on the invisibilities now because we didn't play that quite right. We're keeping those two for sure. We need that one. We need that one for the move. That one for the invisible. That one for the invisible. That one for the jump. So I guess it is Terrorblade. Blade. 
You have a lot more cards than he does. That's weird. Forgot he had so few cards. Uh, we can lose tactical orders, maybe. I guess that's it, right? Or maybe we lose righteous. Righteous strength can go. All right, we're basically here to the full. He has, I think he's down one. He's at, no, he is actually full. Everybody's full. All right, great. Let's go. So you're going to open the door. And we'll do that into that, which will get us the invisibility that we need. Or we could prepare for the kill as well and go invisible. That will get us the darkness we need for next turn. Um, the idea is he's going to run to the back of this chamber down here as much as he can and try to finish off those dudes before they do bad things. Uh, over here, I think charging through the door is the right plan here. And then you're going to charge through after with a rampage for us to control you. And a borrowed essence. Alright. So let's reveal a room tile. Okay. What are you guys doing? Move four, attack four. You guys are doing move threes, which is move three and two, which is actually really good for us. Alright. Uh I guess this guy. Oh, that was excellent! Thank you for doing absolutely nothing, but you did generate the darkness. And I think we're going to go ahead and do that to go with it so we can pop over to these guys and kill the elite guy next turn. Alright. So we want to get over into the open so that there's room for people to go around. Let's go ahead and pop that to get to here. What are these guys doing again? They're eating whatever element is up there to make darkness, which is actually super bad. I guess it's not that bad, because I have a bunch of elements up there now, so that's fine. All right, a little retaliate fun. So the mistake I made last time I came through is I stood in the door, which only let these night demons come one at a time, but I couldn't get back to these guys, and that was a problem. All right, so you're here. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll get you there to do an attack five, or I could do an attack two once. So attack five is the right answer. All right, both of them done. And he gets the doubler. Oh, big money, big prizes. This guy having shield 4 and immune to poison and wound is just absolutely bonkers, by the way. Not even gonna lie. Alright, so first off, you are gonna go and kill this guy. But you cannot be invisible while you do it. So, we're gonna have to use probably Unseen Dread and Followed by Fear and tank this hit. Alright, um... Go ahead and let you go early. You're going to step to here and hit this guy a bunch, which means attack four. And then you are going to have him next to you. So he's going to take an attack five and an attack seven. So that's hypothetically 12. He'll probably still be alive. So let's go with mobile axiom in to illuminate target to get that guy down and ready. All right, we've got a split news, which is bad for us, but at least we will only have one ooze splitting. I mean, one ooze is better than two. All right. 
Let's go damage. All right, I'll take a plus two there. And a miss, apparently, which is somewhat to be expected because, you know, that's just life. Uh, let's go ahead and generate that and... Alright, found a curse. Good job. Found a little bit of damage on you. Alright, so let's start with this. Here, attack 9. Okay. And we're gonna eat... We don't need anything, actually, no. Because um, he generated it for us, so that's pretty solid. Alright. So, somebody's going to have to go kill this guy. It's probably going to need to be you. Uh, you have a hammer blow, practical plans, one, two, three, four. That'll get you up there. You are going to go ahead and kill that one. And then you are going to move as quickly as possible up to try to deal with this guy. Alright, Night Demon's going on four. Thanks. It actually kind of works okay, because he hits him and then he moves out of the way. So that kind of works. Alright, and we're going to go with some extra damage here. Alright, well that was way more effective than I was expecting it to be. As such, I'm going to go get some money. Oh! oh. Hit him and you poisoned him! Oh no, what will I ever do? Basically, everything is dead at this point. There is a lot of money laying on the ground here. I don't think anybody has any real good ways to loot it. Uh, you're going to walk up and hit that guy no matter what. And we'll do that. Done. Alright, so splitting ooze, which we don't super care about. But we will go ahead and hit him. for a small amount before we go over here and loot this money right here. And now that there's definitely nothing for you to kill, I mean, you could go kill this guy, but he's going to die on his own. Okay, you did kill him. Thank you. And now... Uh, I think we go into the room. Do we go? You would go up here, right? We we'll go up here because there's money. And over here. Yeah, so it's got to be that one. We'll just move forward a little bit. Oh, wait, no, hold on. There's money right there. And we'll heal you up. All right. Well, it's been an efficient start. All right, what do we not need now? Ooh. We might need to move. It's the only problem. I guess it's just running roar. Roar. It's the least useless of the cards we have at this point. And over here, we definitely need the jump. I guess it's gotta be... Eviterating Wound. And over here... Definitely going to keep Bright Aegis up. Probably be Tactical Orders. Let's lose Dazzling Charge. 
Healing is not our biggest issue at this point. Uh, what was the card we had that made everybody immune to damage? Do we not put that one in? Do we not take that one? We need we need that one at some point. Maybe not in this game. This one, but, you know, still. Alright, uh, let's get into the room as much as we can. And over here, uh, heal four is probably not not good, but I mean, it was gonna have to. He's gonna have to hit a rolling card to get there. So you're gonna open the door there. There are monsters in this room. I just don't remember where they're at. So why don't we set up with a rampage on a borrowed essence? And over here, you have nothing available to you. So we're gonna do prepare for the kill on the move into the grim sustenance. We'll go after he does. So Sarah, she, Sarah will go first, so she can get in the door, then ghost, and then come in the behind us. All right. Following the signs of corruption, you find your way into the final four water pipes stand vertically in the back of the room. When you enter, some of the black man, the horde of demons, and all right. How far can I make it? I can make it to here. Which is not actually as good as being here. That would be good, except I would lose. I would hit the stun if I did that. So I think this is going to be fine. You're going to load me up, aren't you? What is that demon back there doing? Move six, attack five, go invisible. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is a good spot. They've already gone. No point in using the boots here. I'm not going to get to attack anybody, no matter where I go. Go there. Do that. And get invisible. Load that deck up with curses, sir. Alright, so you're way back here. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six to get to this spot right here. Might go here, but either way, it's going to be a six mover to get there. So we do this and this and say, run, beastie boy, run. That was a very solid hit, sir. Very solid. Ouch. Alright. Uh, you need to kill things. You need to kill things. He needs to kill things. Things need to be killed. That's the point of this. Alright. Uh, let's go with tactical orders into a hammer blow. And over here... Honestly, I think this is a... So let's do that. And over here... I think we have to get to the back, right? Like, it's gonna suck, so we're gonna go late. That's what we're gonna do. Yep, yeah, we're gonna jump as far as we can all the way to the back here and hopefully be able to take something out and go by going late. Got it. All right, the imps do nothing. The night demons suck. All right, so a lot of that is very, very bad. They are eating my darkness to kill thing, to do more damage. So unless they are both dead, which seems very unlikely. We are going to have a problem. Pretty big one.
Alright, so they are not both going to be dead, no matter what we do. So I think we have to eat that darkness into something like a sun. Alright, we're definitely doing plus attack. Alright. And let's try to kill that guy. Alright. One demon down. This guy's gonna attack him. Uh, we could try to kill that guy. But I think it's better that we stamina potion back two things. Rampage and blood hunger seems good. Gonna mess up my turn a little bit here, but whatever. That was good. It was very good, even though he ate my darkness, which was, well, would have eaten my darkness, which is the problem. A little bit of damage there. All right. Well, we have to get to this. So we have to get to here. And we can't kill anything now. So I guess we'll just attack something for no purpose whatsoever. To get a heal out of that. Alright, so here's the deal with this. So I need to be able to go invisible. And I need to give up my bottom action. So... We go Major Stamina to get back the Invisible card and the Kill card. Alright. So, you're going to go, to get to get rid of this, Jason Waterpump may forego the bottom action. So the bottom action is going to be lost. So we can toss away Cloak of Shade. No. We could toss away black arrow. No, we're going to do the black arrow attack. You know, we're going to do the scrim sustenance attack. So black arrow is the one that gets, to gets tossed here. Okay. Then we are going to move and stun after doing an attack. Over here. This guy needs to get out of the way, is the problem. Because, I guess, actually, when this guy dies, we're okay. So let's go on 20 and Blood Hunger. Alright, they're doing nothing useful. What about these guys? Move attack, generating darkness for us. That's great. Black Imps are throwing a whole bunch of curses out. Okay. Alright, so... Uh, we are going to give up our bottom action to close this one down. And then we're going to go here and miss that guy once again. Second time now I've managed to draw a minus two against uh, minus two and a times two at the same time. All right. So with all of that done, I don't think this will be in. I get it will be. It should be there. So what are we doing next turn? Next turn we go late, kill something if we can, and then jump. And do we have, we do not have our jump, do we? We do not have a jump. Okay, so we have a black arrow. So we have to bring back our jump. All right. And we have boots. Don't need to bring any of that stuff back. Okay. And attack a lot. Very nice. That's what we needed. That we needed that one to go ha to go down very very well. And now an attack six on this guy. A little healing to go with it. That, that'll that work. That'll work, pig. That'll work. And... 
And honestly, I think I might blow the ring of haste here. Because he's going next and he'll be able to get through in front of these guys. So let's toss out Storm Sigil. And... Oh! It was right there! Right there! Oh, that hurts. Alright, let's tremor the wand. And go. Oh, how many cards do we have left in our deck? We have three. Let's bring back the attack heal card. Oh, that hurt, buddy. That hurt, man. I'm not gonna lie. I could go through that, but I don't want to do that, so we'll just go here. Oh, boy, that one hurt. I'm honestly not going to stun him, because I need him to generate the darkness for me if I don't kill him. Which I did not do. I want the darkness more than I want him dead. How scary is that? Yep, that hurt. You're about to get a whole bunch of curses, buddy. A whole bunch of curses. Oh, they were target two anyway, so everybody's getting cursed today. Wow, there's some really late cards there for you. Alright, so we are invisible going late with a... Yeah, we'll do that and that. Alright, Black Imps are doing nothing. Night Demons are going to curse themselves with my darkness. A lot of strengthening here. This could be real bad. All right, so so much, so much blessing here, but whatever. Uh, yeah, go ahead and do that. All right. Got him. And now we're going to do this. Move him here. Start working on these guys. All right. Uh, we could generate sun. Don't have to. Don't have to do that either. All right. And now... I'm going to use our boots to go here. And attack and strengthen the bear. Oh! That's one of the, one of the many curses. He has three left, I think, and the bear has... bear has none. Interesting. Why does the bear have none? Beast Tyrant should have a bunch of curses. He got cursed. I guess maybe he didn't get cursed. All right. And we might as well. You're down a little bit. Go ahead and pop that. And you're out of cards, so let's go ahead and bring back two cards. Uh, probably something like that. And Hammer Blow is not going to be around for it. Probably that. All right. So before we run away, go ahead and eat that. Kill this guy. 
move all the way to probably here. Can we step on it? I don't know if we can do it from on it, so I'm not going to do it. I'm going to go right here. Because this is our spot, right? Yeah, that's the spawner. Alright, and we don't need any of these things. We'll go ahead and generate sun for him. Alright. So, we'll do that and that. Uh, short rest now seems good. That also seems fine. What do we want to do here? From where you're standing, at the start of your turn, you're probably going to kill that guy. So we can do patch fur to kill that guy, and then... I guess we need to do a blood hunger to heal you? Do we? Or do we just start hitting things like this hard? Because if you kill this guy, you're going to walk here, and then we can start hitting these guys. Uh, over here, obviously... Oh boy. That is a problem, isn't it? That is a serious problem. Alright, well, this might suck. Oh boy. Okay, well... Have to do that. That's what we have to do. Alright. So, that has to happen. Oh, we should have short rested is what we should have done. That would have been a much smarter plan. Alright, well, the problem is he's about to probably die and lose a bunch of cards. Yeah, we have to we have to go back and short rest him. That's that's not a that's not a good plan. That's not a good plan. That's a bad plan. And I do not want to do this a third time. Alright. And we go patch into double attack and we go short rest. That's fine. And we need to go quickly with Black Arrow into Grim Sustenance. Alright. So, we give up the bottom, we shut this down, and we do our attack on this guy, and we go invisible. Definitely need to put that one attack one invisible card back in. That's, that's a card we're definitely missing. All right, so we can stun this guy. This I don't think will work because he's not technically an ally with a deck, so I can't let the uh, mini me pull back two cards. So just go ahead and stun this guy. And move up one. Alright, well this is probably about to hurt a lot for the Beast Tyrant, too. Oh, he didn't move. Never mind. I forgot about that part. Alright. Uh, we have some sun, but we won't be using it till next turn. Let's go ahead and make him some sun, that's fine. And you might as well make darkness too while you're at it. Alright, here go all the all the imps in the world are gonna shoot our buddy the Sunkeeper over here for a decent amount of damage. I don't I don't know how you do this mission without a uh somebody who can jump around invisible like this. I really don't. Uh, sure. And scales. Like, it's impossible to fight through this. You can hit this one pretty easily, 
but there's so many creatures back here. I don't know how you get back there and do things like that. Uh, definitely blood hunger. Actually, what we're going to need to do, let's do Rampage Bard Essence, because he is a little bit injured. And you probably need to go late again. And Spirit of the Night in a jump. Bunch of shield things going on here, which is fine. Nice thing is, is that they never actually spawn on the spawner, so you'll always have a place to land when you're moving back here. All right. So we're going to do some moving here. I guess to here? We're not going to be able to hit anything. The bear's going to move up to there, actually. I want the money. So, yeah, I'll just go here. And we'll just stun that one. No. This one, because the bear's going to try to kill that one. Probably poorly, but it's going to try. Oh, look! I didn't get through a shield. Alright. And I don't see a lot of point in doing... I was going to give up. I'm going to do neither. That's fine. Because he's not going to get through the shields. And we're going to redistribute all of your health to the bear. And then the bear is going to do nothing. I was going to burn that, but it didn't make any sense to do that. All right. Uh, go ahead and kill something somewhere. Probably this guy. And then we'll jump over to here. And we're done. Alright, so you're going to finish this off. Then if you die, it's fine. You're going to do whatever those are. Actually, I wish you could get to this, but you can't. Biggest, biggest move you have is a three, even if you long rested. Alright, and... I guess you do that. Doesn't matter. This is the last round. Ah, look, a heal. Great, thanks. And close that one down. Uh, I guess you go here. And we're gonna grab this coin. And let's do some attacking. Oh, you got that guy. Guess what? Now you can't attack anybody. You're so smart. Oh, we got a heal out of it. That's fine. And everybody shoots the bear. And the bear doesn't care too much. Oh, yeah, shoot that guy, too. Ghost over there taking damage. It's kind of funny that I still have the steam armor on the on Ghost, but he's like, he's an assassin running around in steam armor. Not too bad. By the time the fight is over, the a simple mop can clean the remnants. Now that the dark presence has been removed, you approach the back wall and bemusedly wipe away some of the grime with your finger. Most of it comes off easily. 
but a chalky black streak remains. Curious, you take your sleeve and begin wiping the wall more vigorously, quickly revealing some sort of runic language. With enough cleaning, you find lettering covering the entire back wall. The letters are unrecognizable, but you jot them down and head back to town, bringing the writings to a language expert at the university. All right. So the zealot didn't get up, get off, and apparently uh, we didn't long rest on that last turn. So we got one perk out of that. Whatever. Fine. It's a thing. It happened. Whatever. I'm bad at managing that. All right, back to town we go. <clears throat> it's part of a ritual says a bespectacled quattro, staring down at your crude writing. I am not myself entirely familiar with the specifics, but it seems to be a ritual to Wellspar, uh, uh, corrupt. I believe such corruption would require the use of a conduit. The quattro peers even more intently at the writings. Ah, here, something referred to as the artifact, housed at the Temple of Elements. The quattro rushes over to a bookcase, overflowing with texts. Ah, interesting. I've heard of that before. He disappears behind a large stack of tomes. Yes, the Temple of the Elements. His head pops out above the books. The Temple of the Elements, said to house the Vessel of the Elements, a powerful ancient artifact capable of giving shape and power to the elemental residues around us. The book says the temple isn't even that far from here. Somewhere around the fork in the Serpent's Kiss River, all right, so we got 10 gold each, reputation, prosperity, 14 XP, and did we get an unlock too for the Temple of the Elements? Apparently not. Did we already do Temple of the Elements? We might have already done it, I don't remember. All right, uh, we have a level up tomorrow for Ghost, and we'll do a city encounter right now to get that locked in. Return to Gloomhaven after your latest outing, you're approached by the Captain of the Guard. Oh, I was hoping to ca I might catch you here sooner or later. I have still been receiving reports about large flying lizards from the scouts. Have you gotten to the bottom of that situation yet? Uh, we killed that guy. Didn't we? We did kill the Elder Drake. That's weird. Yeah, who cares? He's mad now. I don't care. Um, we killed him, but I guess apparently, because, like, we did that quest. That was the one of the, uh, it was one of the quests that we did. Uh, I think it was Ice Crag. What was the name of that thing? We did do Temple of Elements, by the way. Some of the things come a little bit out of order. They might need to work on some of the, uh, the triggers on these things. Yeah, we did the summit. We killed the elder. We killed the elder Drake, but we also did the voices command. So I guess apparently there's a bit of a disconnect there. I'll have to report that to him. All right. With that, that will be it for today. Tomorrow we are going to level up Ghost. We are going to head into the ruinous rift, and. We will also have the voting that's going on, so please do let us know which one you prefer to go to level 9 or to retire Mini-Me and Ghost. With that, OBG out.